Welcome back to a new day at Atherton High School and the last day before fall break. I'm Erin Mays. And I'm Jaden Cardwell. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance or observe a moment of reflection. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And here's Lake and Whitehead with the weather. What's going on, Ravens? I'm Lake and Whitehead, and here's your weather. On this nice homecoming day, we'll have a high of 82 with a low of 61, so bring your jackets to the game just in case you get a little cold. That's all I have for today. Let's go, Ravens. Back to you guys. Freshman year is a time to learn from our mistakes. Here's a few freshmen and their opinions after the ending of their first six weeks in high school. School started back up. That means a new class of freshmen. Welcome class of 2027. Some of these freshmen at Atherton have had a great start to their year. Let's hear from them. Marley Rainwater shares her opinions. There's a lot of people in here. There's a lot, but it's been good. It's been awkward getting used to it, but I feel like it's been really good. Bruce Lyson shares his thoughts. I'd say my high school's experience is pretty good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm playing for the soccer team. You know, we just got um, a, first, a first win for JV, two wins for varsity, and um, I see that's going pretty well. I'd say overall only one, only one class has been stressful, and uh, that's been geography. Um, but other than that, you know, it's been easy workloads. Um, usually I get enough time to do a bunch of the work in class, and yeah. Kelvin Bergskinrow has many opinions. Uh, it's all right, I, or not all right. I really like it actually. Um, it's really fun. I got like a D or something, but for the most part, I got all right grades, and I got a lot of friends here, and I love it. The freshmen seem to be enjoying Atherton so far. Let's hope they keep enjoying their first year of high school. I'm Ava Cochran. Thank you for watching. Atherton's dance team is back after three years with a new coach. Let's hear about the new faces. Well, I have a personal connection to Atherton. My dad is the orchestra teacher here. So just over the years, I've heard his love for the school and how much he thought that Atherton was just an amazing school that kind of deserved more hype than it gets. Um, and so I saw that there was an opening here and I've loved, I, I love doing really hard, technically challenging dance. And so to get to push myself past what I've done before and go on the high school level, that was really exciting for me. I've been dancing since I was three, which is a really long time. Um, and yeah, I just fell in love with dance in all sorts of ways. I did dance team in middle school and I went to a competitive studio. And then in high school, I went to Y Pass and I did kind of modern and ballet there. Um, and then in college, I was on the Bellarmine University dance team. And yeah, since then I've, I've come on to coaching. And so I teach at a studio, but I also coach um, here, obviously, and at no middle school. So we've all been trained in different styles. Um, I know I am part of a pre-professional company that focuses on modern and postmodern, um, but most of the other girls are studio trained or um, other, otherwise trained. But on the team, we really work on, we do hip hop, we do palm style. Um, we, I know some dance teams do like a contemporary, but we don't do that so far. Um, as far as we know, we're not doing that. Um, so we do competitions, we do sidelines at home football games, we do halftime at football games, we do pep rallies. So we go and we compete, if we get top three, we get to move on to state. It's um, KH, KHSAA, like all of the JCPS, not JCPS, um, like Kentucky State run school, like public school competitions are. Um, so it's any public school dance team and we just all come and compete. Well, I for sure would like to grow the team um, next year. Right now we have 10 and um, I would love to expand past that. And now the announcements. Today is the final day of Spirit Week. We're excited to see everyone in their class colors and hope to see you all at the football game and dance tonight. Go Ravens! The Jefferson County Board of Education has approved a new schedule for JCPS. The final day of school will be May 24th, but please remember on November 6th and January 8th are now regular school days for students and staff. Interested in Korean candy? Come and join the ASU on October 9th to learn about and create Delonius in room 211 from 2.30 to 3.30. The, the Creative Writing Club will be meeting Monday, October 9th from 2.30 to 3.35 in Miss Buchanan's room. Don't forget, Monday is Family Teacher Conference Day. Please remember to remind your family to come if they're interested. Atherton is planning a haunted house and trick-or-treating event. They will need actors, donations, and volunteers to set up, make directions, and clean up. Sign-ups are in the front office. More details are to come. We have some birthdays today. 
Happy birthday to Aubrey Russell, Natavia Short, Nam Coley, Isaac Bell, Sadie Arnold, and Quint Queen of Proctor. And that's all for Athena on Air. I'm Jane Cardwell. And I'm Mary Mays. We hope you have a happy, safe, and fun fall break. Rock, Rock on, Ravens! Ravens.